you're down by the stream, there's a lot of things that are very beautiful, including this plant right here. Except for the fact that this isn't a beautiful plant, this is poison ivy. So one of the ways that you can tell, well, number one, one of the ways that you can tell is not by reading descriptions of it on the internet. Because one of the things that I've noticed is they'll say, well, you know, it could be green, it could be red, it could have white berries, it could have red berries, it could have veins, it could not have veins, it could have red veins, it could have black veins. And by the time they're all said and done, you realize it can look like just about anything. But what I'm going to show you is some common traits that both poison ivy and poison oak kind of share in common. And the first thing is leaves of three. There's something that a rhyme that you could remember, leaves of three, let it be. So one, two, three. So when you see any sort of ivy, whether it's a bush or whether it's a vine, whether it's growing up a tree or whether it's ground cover like you see right here, if it has three leaves, let it be, don't take the chance. Um, that's true of both uh, poison oak and poison ivy. Now this variety right here is poison ivy and another way that you can tell is when you look at the plant you have a small stem right here a small stem right here and then the middle stem is larger it's larger so imagine if you will just a big middle finger <laughs> on this on this plant that tells you don't mess with it um, so geometrically the middle one has a longer stem right here that's a uh, common with both poison oak and poison ivy also what you'll notice more with poison ivy than with poison oak and uh, sorry if this wind is affecting the video it's uh, pretty windy out here um, what you have is this center leaf is symmetrical you'll notice that both sides are fairly exactly the same but yet the side leaves are asymmetrical one side is more prominent than the other they call this the mitten and this point right here is called the thumb. And sometimes it could be very prominent and sometimes only slightly prominent. But basically, if you take your hand and put it like that, you know, that's what it would look like. Your thumb right here, it's called the mitten. So this one right here has a protrusion. This one right here has a protrusion. This one is symmetrical. Um, so that's basically how you tell uh, what poison ivy is. One of the things that you need to be aware of is poison ivy, it will mix in also with other plants. So you might look at a bush and you might see some leaves that look quite a bit different and you might think it's fine and you might trudge through it, but intermixed with that bush, you could have poison ivy. So you gotta be very, very careful. Now, what you have with poison ivy is it produces an oil and uh, the name's escaping me of the oil, but I'll put it on the screen. And that oil basically touches your skin and your body has a histamine reaction to it. And it attacks that oil as a foreign invader. And that's where you get the big rash that can last, you know, up to a few weeks. So right now I'm at the Owyhee uh, Jump Creek and I warned a uh, some people a couple months back, they wanted to know a good place to go hiking and I told them to come here and I warned them, stay away from the poison ivy because it's all over the creek area. And uh, unfortunately, the little girl in the group who's, you know, about, I think about four or five years old, she got a pretty bad case of it. So uh, just be aware when you're hiking and when you're backpacking that, you know, it is out here and uh, it is, uh, not good to get a rash from poison ivy or poison oak. So those are the, the main ways that you can figure out what it is. Leaves of three, let it be, the prominent uh, middle stem, and uh, the symmetrical top leaf and the asymmetrical side leaves with the mitten, with the, the thumb on it. Uh, those are the ways that you can tell whether or not it's poison ivy or whether or not it's something else. But anyway, this is Matt with the Napa Hiker Channel. God bless. Happy trails. Stay out of the poison oak. See ya.